I think for the, such a behavior that Derek Chisora showed uh, at the weigh-in and before the fight and after the fight and on the top with the life-threatening lines that he has been repeating consistently that he's going to kill and shoot David Hay, uh, I think that has to be punished. Uh, it's, uh, it was punished with a financial fine. It's going to be punished by officials. WBC said that uh, they will um, um, take him out of the fights in their federation for a certain period of time. Nobody knows if it's going to be lifelong or not. But such a behavior should be stopped because otherwise we're going to give bad example for the fans, for the youth. And it was such a big stage where Derek Sor was presenting himself at the world stage with the world uh, uh, champion. And the way how he handled it, it's not good for the youth, for the fans, and for the regular uh, boxing fans. I think it's really something that damages um, the legacy of, of boxing. Uh, such a champions as Joe Lewis, Mohamed Ali, Rocky Marciano, Larry Holmes, Mike Tyson, um, uh, Lennox Lewis, they have been polishing and making boxing as glamorous as possible. And with a, such a behavior, he's spitting in the face, not in my face, but he's spitting in the face in the history and to those champions. And that is not acceptable. That's why there are certain consequences that has to be done. Um, and I heard about apologies that he uh, mentioned Almost on the next day after he was done, I don't believe in those apologies. I'm not accepting those apologies. And that's something that his advisors told him, man, you've got to say it because it's going to help you probably, you know, to reduce your suspension or something. So for right now, I'm not taking any apologies, and my brother either. So, but there has to be consequences that are proceeding right now, and I'm looking forward to how it's going to end up.